What is going on my fellow jump ropers? Welcome to an episode of KG Coaches. I'm Nate KG and I'm a jump rope coach. So in this video, I'm going to be offering some of my coaching suggestions on another jump roper skills that they are working on. So today I've got a video from Bobby over in England. He's working on a single under 360. So he's jumping straight forward, turns all the way around. So let's take a look at his video right now. So he sent me a few different tries at this skill. Um, automatically seeing a couple of adjustments that definitely need to be made. He's doing it on both sides, going back and forth so we can see um, what those two different sides look like. Always recommend trying skills on both sides of the body, whether that's a cross on both sides or if that's turning in both directions, would always recommend training that just to be versatile. So let's get into a couple of things here. Number one, the biggest thing that I'm seeing is very large hand movements. So his hands are shifting up and down a lot, which is causing the rope to be a little bit jerky. So Bobby, when you're doing that, make sure you minimize those hand positions and keep it a lot smoother rather than doing an up and down as you're turning. Keep your hands down by your hips and rotate nice and smoothly and you can still move your hands up and down, but rather than going up and down, go with the rope, don't shift too much and then come back into that pocket position easily. Now, while you're doing that, slow the rope down a lot too. Right now you're moving very quickly and going at a very brisk pace. While you're learning, keep it all nice and easy and slow. Give yourself the time to watch the rope and see what's happening and understand the movement of the rope. So slow it down, keep those hands a lot tighter and don't move them as drastically. Cool, so Bobby, next thing that we're gonna look at here is where the rope is as you're turning. When you go from forward to backward at the very beginning of the skill, your rope is pretty far away from you. We want it to stay tight to your body because when the rope goes out really wide during a swing, it throws it off of its normal trajectory, it throws it off of its normal path, and it ends up causing a sideways loop. And this turning, whether it's a 180 or a 360, we want that rope to go up and down because it's effectively not changing its normal rotation, you're just moving around the rope and manipulating it a little bit differently. So be sure to keep that rope a little bit tighter to your body. So the last thing we're gonna look at here is where you're taking your jump and how you're moving during the jump. Right now what I'm seeing in this video is you're turning through the backwards jump. When the rope comes past your head and it goes under your feet, your body is rotating. Rather than do that, I'd like to see you get to that 180 mark first, then have the rope go under you, staying in that 180 position, and as soon as you land and your feet touch from the single bounce, then you start to rotate and continue through the 360. So this way you're breaking up the skill and you're doing one piece at a time rather than trying to rush through the whole piece. And then breaking up this skill this way and understanding the different pieces is going to translate to higher level skills later, such as an EK, which is a full 360 with a backwards jump in the air. You'll understand where the rope is, it'll make a lot more sense, and by going slower, keeping the rope tighter to you, doing all these corrections, you're gonna really get what's happening and then you can speed it up later if you choose to. So that about wraps it up for this episode. If you wanna see your video on an episode of KG Coaches, send me a DM with the skill that you're working on at Nate underscore KG on Instagram. If it doesn't make it into this video, I will do my very best to make sure that I send you a couple of quick tips over there on Instagram. All right guys, I will see you in the next episode.